Oh, you got him. Got him. Oh. <laughs> here, I'm gonna film and send you this later. Dude, get back over here. Whew. We are set up, ready to go. Got the lights burning bright. So they've been on for a little bit now, and there's a lot of people out here at the jetty on a Wednesday night. I have not seen any fish being pulled in yet. Here's the jetty cart. This is the muscle that brings everything out. We got a little 2000 Honda generator right over there, very quiet. And then we got a big old huge bait bucket, one gallon gas can to fill the generator up again. A tripod, all of this stuff comes out. I've got a, a uh, night fishing setup video if y'all are interested. I'll link that down in the description below. But the setups that we got, uh, three each. My son is with me right out there. We were not able to get live bait. So that's a bummer. That's two trips in a row where the bait shops did not have live shrimp and then the rest of the bait shops were closed. So really didn't need to bring this out. But we wanted to just in case we were seeing enough bait in the lights. We got a cast net that we can throw out there. So here we go. We're going to start with a zoom fluke. That's a white color, a little Ned Rig jig head, a bait caster, and we've got 20 pound braid, a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, a seven foot six inch long old 18 buoyancy rod. That's a medium light power, and that's what we're gonna go after them with right now. So let's get started. Uh, we've been hanging in there, bro. Uh, Try, trying to catch fish all hours. Hey, you're smashing your your reel. I don't care anymore. You're sit. You're sit. No. No, not not much at all. Shout out that man right here. What's up, bro? <laughs> Is that what you're gonna use to uh, attract the fish? No, I'm gonna sit right by you. <laughs> so quite a few fishing YouTuber guys out here. That's uh, Ronell fishing trips right there that just showed up. And you got my son who's also got a channel. You have Dat Van, and then you got H-Town Anglers right up there as well. It is packed here at the jetty. I mean, they're all up and down. You would swear this is like a typical day. Pretty crazy. Lots of people out here right now. I'm throwing a Zoom Fluke. There we go. Right by the rocks. Yeah, that's my sign to start fishing, baby. You want to keep it, son? It's a keeper. Yeah. All right. Are you sure? Let's measure him. Oh, that's a keeper. He's about 17. Yeah, no. That's not a keeper. Yeah, he's going to go back. I told you. Yep, yeah, you're right. 14 and 3 quarters. Boy, this thing is done. Look at that. Ripped it. Yeah, that'll work.
There we go. They're at the edge. Yeah. That's number two, y'all. This dude just hit it really hard, too. Let's do this. We know we're going to keep this fella, so I'm not worried about... Gosh, bro. Like I'm running a three ring circus. Yep, another 16 incher. I like to dispatch them immediately and then put them on ice. I'm gonna get it. It looks pretty good. Nice little minnow down there trying to make it back to the safety of the rocks and that's whenever they gulp them down. So all I'm doing is just making my cast way out there like that. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, six 1,000 and then that's it. I'm just slowly gonna bring it in in a small little subtle twitch nothing crazy because it's just a tiny paddle tail yeah, I'm not even I'll tell y'all what without those drop lights them LEDs they're not actually trying to light up the water we have the halogen bulb the spotlight for penetrating the water and getting the bait over here the drop lights this is what it allows us to see it's hard enough as it is during the daytime walking up and down these rocks one of the main things you're going to want to make sure you got is some good footwear. These are cleats right there. You got these heart bite from Sims. Uh, really good stuff. You probably get three seasons out of them if you're lucky. And the boots come, uh, they're designed to work with those cleats. And that's going to allow you to walk up and down these rocks. They get very slippery. Looks are very deceiving as well. You always want to make sure that you're going to be careful coming up and down these things. Next thing you know, you're gonna be like the next person who tries to come down here and flip flops or just regular footwear. And uh, yeah, you're gonna end up hurting yourself. I always get the question, oh dang, that's a good one. Um, is the green lights better? Yeah, right here at the rocks. Here. Just hold it, I'll go get the net. Oh my god. That's okay. Dude. He's a nice keeper. Wow. He was literally barely hooked. Yeah. He was literally, I had tension and everything, he just shook it. Wow. Just grab that net and pull it right here next to us. Okay. Yeah. But what they ask, yeah, pretty much. They, uh, I don't know because I've never used a green light before, so I don't know which one's going to be better. mullet y'all free bait free bait free bait i don't know how many i got but it should get us started here we are all right 
Live bait, everyone. Live bait. Nothing better than live bait. At least I hope so. Come on, man. I mean, there's so many trout out here. They're just destroying all the bait that's in the light. They won't get my finger mullet, though. There we go. Come on, get it, bro. Get it. Get it. Eat it. Man, you can literally see him underneath my mullet. But they won't go after him. Probably. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. There we go. He's got it. Yep. Got him. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I'm good. Thank you. We're going to have to catch some more mullet, son. Well, get get you a one that's actually kicking. I'm I'm like working on it, but if it doesn't work, then yeah. perfect hook set right at the top of the mouth. Oh man, right there. Well, I didn't know. I thought you said we had two. Okay. All right. Well, I mean that was a keeper. We just threw our third one away. How many more mullet we got? One each. Uh, three, right? Two. Not three. Oh, three, three. You're right. This guy's a lot more lively. Get us another mullet, and then we're gonna have to cast net more. Oh, he got hit. Dude's running for his life. I see him at the at the surface. Just waiting for, there we go. We got him. Look at that, it's that easy. Got the power play, y'all. This one's not a keeper, though. Oh, there he goes. We'll see you later, buddy. All right, I'm gonna try to cast net more mullet, son. That's the mother load. Wow. Hit the mother load. Okay, um, guess I'll use this one. Put me a I'm just going to free line. I'm going to keep him to the top. Here. One of these hooks. There we go. Mullet. There we are, right through the nose. Let's go have some fun, y'all. Oh, he's gonna get him, he's gonna get him. Come on, get him, get him. Oh my gosh, 
There was a big fella going after my mullet. I mean, all he had to do was just suck in and that's it. Bro, you gotta go find a trout. All right, there we go. He's surrounded by trout. There we are, we got him. There we go. <sighs> what? Nice hook set right at the top of the mouth too. Uh, I have more hooks. Okay. And we're ready. It's almost too easy with uh, the live bait. Like super easy. You see these big guys out there in the middle of the light. Cast that fella, keep them up to the surface. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! That'll get the blood going. Oh, there's one after him. It's an undersized trout though. Boy, they are very picky. Oh, you got him. Got him. Oh. <laughs> here, I'm gonna film and send you this later. Dude, get back over here. When you're ready. Thanks, Dat. It's like a nice 16, 16, 17, something like that. Appreciate it, brother. Oh, that's a fat one. Yeah, that's gonna be 16 inches. It's just so fat that that's why it was able to pull like that. 16 incher right there. Cha-ching, baby. Nice keeper. Oh, that's a nice one, son. Oh, wow, that's a big one. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get another one. There's some big one. Oh gosh, dog. He just came up and slurped him. That didn't take long at all. There we go. Woo -wee. Got my trout, baby. That's a limit, at least one of them. Yeah. I'm gonna dispatch this guy immediately and get him on ice. There we go. That's one. No. A 
I don't know if he's gonna be a keeper. Nonetheless, it's super fun to catch these fellas. Nah, uh, he might. No, he's not. I'm not even gonna put him on the board. See you later, buddy. Got him. I guess I switch to a free line. You can use this one if you want. He's too small. I'm gonna put him right back. All right. I mean, we're catching them one after another on live finger mullet. Oh, he's already hit. He already got hit. Are you hooking through the head part? Yeah, right, right through the bottom lip and the top of the head. another male. This is the last one that we're keeping. We're going to continue fishing because the bite is just too good. But yeah, this is the last one. Check it out, everyone. We made it till sunup. We got here at 8 p.m. and uh, it's now 6.40 in the morning. Woo! Talk about a great day of fishing or a great evening of fishing. There were a lot of big fish inside the lights tonight and it wasn't until we started cast netting that mullet that we were truly able to catch some of the big girls that were out there swimming. I think there were like three or four of them over 23 inches and uh, we caught a, what was it, a four man limit? Three fish away. Three fish away from a four man limit of trout. Just a phenomenal night. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time, tight lines y'all.